guys what's up this is Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial in today's video we are going to take a look at creating this kind of 3d looking spark effect into After Effects now this effect can be very very helpful when you're working with some action packed titles for your movies or films or whatever it is now to create this effect we need a third party plugin called Trapcode Particular so I hope you have it and if you don't I'll put a link in the description so you can go and download it and get back to this video pretty soon. Okay, so let's just hop into a new comp and get started and I'll show you how to make this effect. Okay, so here I am in a new comp which is 1920 into 1080, 30 frames per second. So first of all, I'm going to create a new solid and let's just name this BG for background and doesn't matter which color it is, but make sure it's the comp size. Okay. Then we need to add an effect called gradient ramp. Okay. And change the white color to something like a brown color. Now you can of course choose whatever color you want. Whatever color you think will go good with this effect. So I'm going to just keep it something like this and change the scatter ramp to 200. Now this is basically going to avoid from getting all that bendings in the gradient then I'm going to create a new solid and I'm going to name this sparks okay and then we are going to add the effect called trap code particular to it now if you don't know what trap code particular does it is basically a 3d particle generator which generates 3d particles in 3d space which we can see using a 3D camera. Now that is too much 3D, I guess. Anyways, so first of all, I'm going to go to emitter and we need to keyframe the particles per second. So I'm going to go all the way at the beginning of the comp and make this to about 30,000 per second. Hit on the stopwatch, go to about 15 frames, should be good, and make it at zero then we are going to get something like this now we also need to add some velocity to it so to do that i'm going to just make this 150 and make some little random velocity actually add some randomness to it okay that's it with the emitter then we need to go to the particles and change the speed of feather to zero we don't want any feather to it and change the size to maybe one you can keep it whatever you like i like to keep it at one then we need to go to the size overlay, and I'm going to select this preset. Now there are a number of presets you can see, different preset which you can play around with and just check out which which fit for you guys. So I'm going to go with this preset and just add a little bit size randomness to this thing. And then I'm going to add size or opacity randomness too, and I'm going to go to opacity overlay and we specifically need to select this preset as you can see and just make it a little random by adding this kind of bars to it okay this preset is gonna give us a little bit sparky effect to it cause it's basically gonna you know overlap the opacity okay so I guess this is it with the particles thing then we need to go to the physics tab and make sure it's on the air mode go to the air tab and Set the when Z position to minus 500. There we go. Now what this basically going to do is it's going to generate the particles toward the camera because it is 3D. Now to see it more properly, I'm going to create a new camera and set this to 50 millimeters. Okay, good to go. And hit AA on the keyboard to bring down the camera properties and turn on the depth of field of course and set the aperture to maybe 40 should work good and blur level to maybe around 300 okay now to adjust the focus distance we need to go to top view select the camera and you can see as I move the focus distance you can see the line that is moving right over here that is the focus distance so this area is gonna be in focus so I'm gonna place this somewhere around there in the middle okay 
and get back to the active camera. Now you should see a little bit depth to it which is going to give that tree feel to it. Okay, now we need to go to the turbulence field and change the fade in time to 1 second, the scale to 5 and the complexity to 2. Now we need to play around with the effect position and this thing is going to give it that random effect. You can see, looks pretty good. I'm going to set this to 500. Yep, looks pretty good. Now you can see in the example, there is the motion blur to the sparks to it, which is going to give that sparky effect to it. So to add this, I'm going to go to rendering and turn on the motion blur and set this to around 200. This is going to give that subtle motion blur to it. 360 maybe look a little bit over to it. And change the opacity boost to 40. And then I'm going to add an effect called trap code shine. And change the ray length to 0. And bam, there we go. As you can see, we get that effect pretty easily and it looks pretty awesome. You can also play around with the shutter angle. I'm going to keep that at 250 I guess okay this looks pretty good you can also go to colorize and play around with different settings that we have right over here these are basically the presets so you can also keep this to five color gradient but I like to keep it at three color gradient because this gives a pretty realistic effect to it as you can see looks pretty good and the best part is you can you know customize it any time that you want you can add your text to it and make it look even more better this it looks pretty good so i hope this was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my next video till then take care thanks for watching guys